Hello, and welcome to a brief overview of CallDriver, a simple application for the Salesforce.com platform that allows you to establish more contacts and get through more leads than ever before. One of the biggest problems using Salesforce and dealing with call campaigns are a large number of leads where you're just trying to establish contact to see if those leads are good or not is processing them quickly. CallDriver allows you to do that by simply taking all the leads that have been assigned to you and dividing them by the number of call attempts that you've done to date. As you can see when we open up CallDriver, it's taken all of these leads and divided them into three different sections. The first section are all the leads that I have assigned to me that have no call attempts at this particular time. The second section are all the leads where I've already made some type of call attempt. I've tried to reach the person, but for one reason or another, they're not home, I got an answer machine, or I talked to the wrong person. As you can see, this section breaks down all of my call attempts anywhere from one attempt to five. And the last section is just to make sure that you've called those leads enough times during the day, during the week, at enough different hours during the week that you actually can talk to that person. As you can see here, this section and all the attempts that I have that are five or greater. We have one here at this particular time, a lead named Bertha Boxer, and I've made eight call attempts. The last one was at 8.56 a.m. To use call, call driver, it's quite simple. Basically, you choose any lead, look at the key field information, which is completely customizable, and then click either on the phone or the mobile phone icon. By clicking the phone icon, I will be taken into the call record sheet in just a moment. As you can see from the call record sheet, all the fields are editable. The first section of fields are all based on the lead key contact information. Their name, the lead status, their email, phone number. All of these items I can go and change at any given moment. The next section is called marketing information. These are the key fields or items that the marketing manager or your sales manager can either pass on to you from your web to lead forms or request that you fill them out once you establish contact with that particular lead. As you can see here, one of the items we're looking at is the country of interest. Jeffrey expressed, it, expressed interest in Ireland, but he didn't say to us what particular product in Ireland was he interested in. The next two sections all deal with your task. This is one of the best ways that you can actually save time, energy, and information. As you can see here, I have my current task. This is the call that I'm on right now. Here I can very quickly go and say, did I leave a voicemail? There was no answer. Did I talk to someone else? The person's not interested. Whatever I want it to be. I can leave any type of comments as well based on that conversation. In the future task area, if I do talk to Jeffrey, I can go and place another time to call back. Or if I've talked to somebody else there in his house or his business, and they've given me a particular date and time to call back on, I can choose that date and time to call back on. And finally, the last section is the task history. Since I've done no calls, nor have I sent him any type of emails or any of those types of logged activities at this particular time, there is no task history. Okay? But later on, you'll see how that will come into play. Let's just go and say that I've just called Jeffrey right now and there was no answer. So I'm just going to write in here real quick, no answer. I'm going to hit save and go to list so that I can see now that Jeffrey's no longer in my zero call attempts. He's moved down into my one to five call attempts. As you can see, here's Jeffrey, phone in, Ireland, townhouses, one call attempt at 8.55 a.m. If I wanted to call him again, 
I click on my phone icon, takes me into the call record sheet, and this time you see the same information as before, but down in our task history, you see there was no answer on this particular date. I didn't leave any comments, just the subject was no answer. If I want to save this information again and go back to the list, it's just a matter of saving and go back to the list. Let's say this time I've left though a voicemail. As I go back to call driver and I look up Jeffrey again, you'll see that he's moved from one attempt down to two. So using call driver, it's quite simply just a matter of understanding the different sections that you have available to you based on your call attempts and systematically placing calls one after another. Now let's take a moment and take a look at a lead that we've called before and see what type of information we're given once that lead has been called again. So let's call Jeff Glimpse here. We get back into Jeff Glimpse call record sheet and as you can see we have all this key information plus our marketing managers information, our sales managers information that they want us to fill out. We have our current task area. There's no future, uh, there's we have our future task available to us but then in our task history we see all the different emails and the calls that we have placed. This time let's say we actually talked to Jeff. We had a good conversation. So I'm going to say it was a good conversation. He's got about 45,000. He wants a pool with the villa. Okay. I can leave in any comments I want to has three kids, remarried, uh, heavy into the stock market, for example. Even correct my spelling. But what I want to do now is that I've sent out to Jeff a series of different, or I'm going to send out to Jeff a series of different templated emails based on the information that he's requested in our conversation. But before I do that, I'm going to go and say follow up about product offers. Try to close. And I'm going to set that for November 3rd. Now, this time, instead of saving and going back to the list, I'm going to go and say save and go to the lead.